Hi everyone, in today's video, um, I wanted to do something a little bit different than I normally do. So usually I put all the manis I wear for the month um, in a video at the end or beginning of like the following month and I'll put all the manis into one video. But I've had a couple of people asking for like what I'm doing for Halloween, Halloween ideas. So I decided to split it up a little bit that, um, I decided to split it up a little bit this month just in case people are looking for inspiration, they can get it before Halloween actually comes so I'm gonna put the first two weeks of October in this video um, and then I may do one next week and then one the following I'm not for sure I guess it'll depend how often I change out my nails but I have a few things to show you for the first two weeks of October and so that'll be in this video okay so the first manicure I wore this month um, is a gorgeous gorgeous combination I in my opinion um, so this is OPI, do you have this color in Stockholm? This is a gorgeous, um, a little bit of blue leaning purple. It has a gorgeous formula, you guys. Um, two coats to get opaque. And I topped a couple of nails on this um, with Glitter Goblin from China Glaze. You guys, this glitter, oh my gosh, I'm in love. So I put these two together. I thought it was a really, really gorgeous combination. Um, I'll post pictures for you guys to look at. And um, really, really, really pretty. I love this glitter. Um, I think it's perfect for Halloween or just fall in general, I guess. But I always wear it for the month of October. And um, this also has a little bit of a thick formula. Um, it requires a lot of thinner because something about these China Glaze micro glitters, like they just dry out. And um, they do require more thinner than some of my other glitters, but for this polish, um, I do not mind. Next up, you guys, oh my gosh, I'm so, so glad that I decided to go ahead and get this polish. So this is from Colores de Carol, and this is called Don't Look Behind You. This was from last month's polish pickup, and this is a black to clear thermal polish. Um, it has a bunch of like iridescent glitters. Um, there's some like green to red color shift. There's a lot going on in this polish, but the color change on this is so, so pretty. It's like nothing I've ever seen in any type of color change polish. Um, it's just amazing. I think it's an easy, easy Halloween mani. It gives you a very, very interesting look on the nails just for one polish. Um, you don't have to like do anything special and you get an extremely beautiful and very special Halloween look. Um, this is no longer available because it is from the polish pickup, but she does have some, th she does have something similar um, I believe in her Halloween collection or like a fall collection and you should be able to get that now. So if you do like the swatch pictures of these, I would go to her website because I know she has something similar to this out right now. Oh, you guys, so, so, so good. Um, Very unique. I'm probably going to put this on again before the month is over because I just freaking loved it. It was so pretty. Um, next up was another combination and this one is um, As Long As You Love Me from Essence. So Essence did a, um, this is called Beauty Beats, but it did like a Justin Bieber collection and I love Justin Bieber. I've told you guys before, so I had to pick up one of the polishes from the Justin Bieber Essence Collection. And this is just a gray cream. It does have some silver shimmer in it. I don't have a ton of gray polishes, and that is kind of the reason that I went for this polish. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And it was a perfect base for this um, Sinful Colors Black, Black Magic. This is what I put on top. You guys, look at this glitter. So, so pretty. Um, it has black holographic um orange glitters um so this combination was gorgeous you guys it reminded me of another polish i picked up from last month's polish pickup i think it was called zombie kill of the week and i believe the brand is painted polish i oh, i'm pretty sure that's what it is it has a little p on the bottle this was a very very similar look um to that polish actually i really really loved this combination I thought it was very, very suitable for Halloween and also just like really, really suitable for fall. 
So if you have black magic, um, I would totally grab it this time of the year and put it on over like a gray cream. I just think it came out so, so nice and sparkly. Then next up, I did a Skittle Manny um, using three polishes. And the first polish I want to talk about is Summer Lovin' Having a Blast from the OPI Summer Collection. Um, like I told you guys, this has quickly become one of my favorite orange polishes. I think it has a gorgeous formula. It's just two coats to get opaque. It goes on super smooth. And I really, really enjoy the color of this orange. Um, it's not neon, but it is bright. I like the way it looks on my skin tone. And um, I just think it's a really, really beautiful shade of orange. I'm not super into orange unless it's neon. But this is one orange that is not neon that I do really like. And then I used my Indie Polish Space Invaders from the April Polish Pickup. Um, so this was from the video games theme month, which was April. You guys, oh, this polish. It is so, so pretty. It's a gorgeous... Um, neon green and then it has tons of different shapes of like black matte glitters glitters and shards um some of them do look like squares and then others are like more um torn up shard looking glitters i love the, the, this in the summer and i think this is perfect for halloween nails um this is no longer available but i think i saw something similar from night owl lacquers halloween collection so if you do like the way that this looks i would go to night owl's um website and check it out i will link that site down below in case you are interested because i know that that is a there's a similar polish on there to this and i think this is just super super interesting and really really fun and then the last polish that i use on that combination is called vivid violet from um the sally hansen crayola insta dry collection this purple is such a gorgeous shade of purple um, and I also like the formula on it. It is one coat to get opaque and I love the brush on these polishes. I just think that it is so easy to paint because you really only need like hardly any passes of the brush because they're so, so thick or wide. I mean, the brush is wide, but one coat to get opaque, gorgeous color, perfect for Halloween. And you guys, this combination was so, so fun. Um, I got a lot of compliments on it. It was very eye-catching on the nails. And um, these colors just say Halloween to me. The last um, polishes that I have put on for the first couple of weeks is going to be this combination. Um, I attempted a sponge gradient. I've done a couple of sponge gradients before that have come out better. And I think because the polishes are more um, similar type colors, I think what was hard for me was that the green is so, so light. And then this is a black, which kind of looks like a darker green. Um, the black on top, I think the contrast of it being so, so light and so, so dark kind of gave me some of my issues. But um, I used Sinful Colors Powerful Potion. This is one of the new Halloween polishes Sinful Colors put out this year. It is a gorgeous, um, I don't want to say chartreuse because it isn't a true chartreuse, but it's a gorgeous shade of green and then it has tons of like blue iridescent -y shimmer. There's a good shot of the shimmer. The formula on this is very sheer. That could have been another issue with it too. Like this green was so sheer and then the black is more, um, the black is more opaque. I don't know. I just, I was, had like a vision in my mind and I just feel like I didn't get there. I was kind of hoping to get something more like, um, like a zombie nail type look. I don't know. Anyway, I always, I thought like if I could stamp and I had Halloween stamps, maybe I could have made this something more like into what I wanted, but I'm not a good stamper and I don't have Halloween stamps. Um, so I don't know. A couple people suggested maybe putting fairy dust over it, so I may try that to see if, you know, it gives it something extra that makes me like it more. But um, if you follow me on Instagram, I actually broke this nail. I have a horrible, ugly nail patch on there if you guys can see it um so this man is going to stay on for a while just because i want to have this nail patched so i will hopefully keep it on for a few days before i switch out you know my average like two to three days but yeah that patch is really really ugly um 
a few people sent me suggestions on how to patch with acrylic powder so I do want to try that but I have not been able to find any acrylic powder anywhere near me and I don't have a Sally's close by so like Walmart, Walgreens, CVS don't have that and that's pretty much the only stores I have available close to me for um, nail stuff. So maybe I'll order off of Amazon. Maybe I'll just keep the ugly tea bag thing going just till it grows out because it's actually broken like below, ugh, below like the finger. It's like a really ugly low tear. So I at least want it to come out so that I can have like a nail instead of like, you know, something that looks kind of chewed off or I don't know. So maybe I'll stick with the ugly tea bag patch. I'm not for sure, but. These will stay on for a while as long as the patch holds because patching is like ugh. um and then I I didn't talk about the other I didn't talk about the other polish sorry but the other polish is just Ebony Hates Chris it's an older um Wet and Wild fast dry polish and you guys um I have some amazing news um this bottle is empty this is the first polish bottle I have used the whole thing of can you believe it a black um so i am excited about that i have to find another black i like because i really did like this one but i need another black cream that i do like but i used up a nail polish so that's exciting for me so these are all the polishes i've worn for the first couple of weeks of october um sticking to my halloween theme Hopefully, like I say, maybe I'll change out a couple more times in the next week and I'll make a video of that. If not, maybe it'll be a couple of weeks. But I will give you time before Halloween actually gets here just in case you're looking for ideas. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. Have a good night.